Hi guys, this is Tyler here. Um, today I'm actually going to pick up Stella, one of our French Bulldogs. We just got her uh, spaded. So we're going to the vet right now and going to pick her up. And I just wanted to kind of document this for you guys with any questions that you have about um, whether it's spading or um, neutering your puppy. We waited to do um, Stella around eight weeks old or eight months old, my, my fault, eight months old. Um, just kind of what our vet recommendation is. I know some vets will say that you can do it, you know, right at the eight weeks old or, and kind of do everything at that time. Um, our personal preference is to wait, but that is totally up to you. So we're going to pick her up and um, going to see how she's doing. Excited to get her back. Um, she is our house dog. Um, so we wanted to get her spaded and her, um, you know, go over the different things with that. So we will go pick her up right now. So I just called the vet or called in and had them, you know, let, let them know that Stella, I'm here to pick up Stella and they just came out and kind of gave a little bit of a rundown with what, how it went with her and different things. Um, so they'll go back and obviously I had to pay. They took my car to go pay and stuff right now. But just a couple of things that they talked about um, was um, she does have to wear a cone around her neck um, so that she doesn't get the incision infected um, and keep looking at it and stuff like that. So we'll have to keep that on. And they said her for around, around four to two weeks. So that seems like a long time, especially for a French Bulldog because they tend to be, you know, they have some energy and like to you know, do that type of stuff. and. So have to, she said I'll have to like put the collar in, in the cone thing so she doesn't um, infect that. Um, so yeah, I'll be for about 14 weeks and again for 14 or for 14 days, um, we'll only be able allowed to keep her on a leash. So we can't just let her run and walk, uh, or, you know, kind of do things. Um, just let her, basically letting her go. I mean, outside and stuff, we have to really keep her confined and let this heal. Um, so that's going to be important for that. Uh, they did mention maybe to put cotton underneath the cone just for comfortability. Um, another thing they said, the, the incision, the stitches, they do dissolve, so you don't have to take those out. So that's good. Um, before we had the, you know, when we first came and took her here, they asked a couple questions about whether we want to provide pain, pain meds. Now, our vet recommended that you don't use pen, pain meds if, if they're tough, if they can handle it. Um, because they said that they they want the dog to to know that they you know this is a painful spot that they can't be tearing around too much. So if you give pain meds and they don't really feel it, they'll think something you know isn't there. So they're more likely to maybe open it or or get it damaged or. Um, but obviously, if the pain is too much, I'll probably use pain meds. But for the most part, when you're doing this, you don't need to. Um, that's their recommendation. But you can obviously do what you would like. So we're just excited to get her back here and it's gonna be um, a long 14 days for Stella cause she is pretty rambunctious. She's very playful and obviously we play with her all the time. So it's gonna be different these next 14 days but we definitely wanted to get her spaded. Um, she actually was coming in the cycle and we probably should have done it a little bit sooner. So my recommendation would definitely to do it a little bit sooner. We waited a little too late to do it cause there's a little bit more blood and stuff involved and maybe a little more higher risk. Obviously, we, you know, they said that it'll be fine, but definitely try to wait, uh, do it before that first cycle um, when you get your puppy spaded um, for a female anyway. Um, so that's something we should, could have done better at, but um, they said she's doing really good. And again, we'll get her here in a second and we're excited to see Stella. Um, a couple other things, I'm trying to think what else she just talked about. I mean, the price that I'm just, you know, to help people understand how much it costs. Um, it was $350 total for everything. Um, so they took her in yesterday, kept her overnight, and here she is coming. So maybe see that. Hello. How's it going? Hello, okay. There's Stella. Thank you very She's much. Normal. Thank you. So I have two Frenchies at home. And she looks almost identical to mine, but mine has more light than black. Yes, yep, yeah, as far as the Prince of the Merle goes. Yeah. Good, good, they're the best dogs. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, poor Stella. Poor Stella's gonna have to get used to this. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Stella. 
Uh, so you see those TVs, those shows that have those cones and you're wondering, you know, what are those for? Well, this would be a time for that. Um, so here's Stella. Yeah, you're a good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl, baby. Yeah, you're a good girl. Glad to see you, baby. Right now she'd be licking us and stuff. Right now, obviously she can't. And the reason that cone is so she doesn't keep looking down in that area um, to infect it or to hurt it. But it's gonna take a little while for her to get used to this cone. I know it is, but it's for the better for her. But <laughs> hey, Stella, she's still fine. She can see fine. She's not wincing. She's acting completely normal. Um, I'm sure she's in a little bit of pain, just like anything with anything. Um, but it's definitely a good thing to do. They said, you know, she did a great job when we talked to the vet when they first came out here. So everybody say hi to Stella. Hey, girly. Yeah, you're just the best. <laughs> you're just the best. So that was our little video uh, to kind of explain how a um, the process and everything works and different things to look out for when uh, when uh, you have your puppy spayed and neutered. My wife's coming in here, so i give her to her. Yeah, good girl. So but you can see she's definitely doing really good. Got her energy. Yeah, good puppy. So please comment or subscribe to this video, guys, if you like this and want more information on French Bulldogs. That's what we're here for.